In this video, I'll be showing you how to extract an M2TS video file from a Blu-ray ISO file. So it's to get a nice high definition video file from a Blu-ray ISO file and save having to store the whole ISO. Kind of saves a bit of space in your hard drive. Now I know this is going to be a bit of an obscure tutorial and is really only useful if you actually download the Blu-rays as ISO files from any particular website that could well be unmentionable. Now I use this quite a bit on my NAS, just to save space. Now I'll be showing you all in the terminal. Now I'm doing this in Ubuntu, but it same pretty much applies for any Linux distribution. I'll connect to my NAS via SSH. That's something I've already set up. As you can see there, I have an Ubuntu 12.04.2 based server with a much higher kernel version than would normally be allowed. So now I go across to the folder where I have the ISO file installed. So this is doing it all for the terminal. So cd forward slash. I have my RAID array mounted under MNT and in a folder called rdisk. And everything that gets downloaded goes into the new folder. The folder I'm after there is the X-Men Last Stand. That's what I'm going to use it for this demonstration. So we'll go into that. And I'm pressing tab to autocomplete. Now to mount that ISO. Now it would be awkward and have lots of spaces in it, so I'm just going to cheat here and save myself a bit of typing and do cat x. Now to get a space, it is backslash space. There we go, that saves me a bit of typing. The command to actually mount the file is sudo mount dash o space loop space dash t space u d f. Let's go to the end and specify a folder where I want to mount that ISO file to. We go for slash media slash cd-rom. If you don't have a folder under media, you can create one with sudo mkdir. Right, there we are. Media cd-rom seems to be mounted as read-only. Yep, that's fair enough. Go across that folder. I'll show you what's in there first with Nautilus. The, do the GUI method first. So that's under media, CD ROM. We've got a couple of different folders in the Blu ray. The video files get stored in BDMV, stream. Conveniently, you can see the file I'm after at the top. To get there via the terminal, again pressing tab to auto complete. Now listing files there is no good, that doesn't show us enough detail. So I want ls dash l h capital S R. That means list files, human readable sizes, sort by size and reverse order. Which means the largest file is at the bottom. And there's another command line you could use. Just messing around there. Now to move that across to a different folder. Now you can't just do MV because it's mounted as read-only. I have to copy the file. So that's CP. Uh, so I'm after 00114.m2ts. I oh, should just copy that across to mount our disk new. It can go there for now. I have to wait. Yeah, it'll be a few minutes to do that because it is yeah, 32 gig. I've got a 3 times 3 terabyte RAID 5 array in that NAS. And at some point I'm going to have to put that up to a 4 times 3 terabyte because I'm running out of space. But that's my insatiable demand for top quality Blu-rays to be stored on it like this. Well that's finished copying now so there's a couple more things I need to do. I want to go across to the folder where I've just copied that m2ts file to. Oh, by the way, it's Control L to clear the screen, if you didn't know that. Now, ls-l. Now, the permissions on that video file are read-only. To change that, it is sudo chmod755 and the name of the file. Again, I'm using the tab key to autocomplete. And as you can see there, it's no longer read-only because you have rwx.
for the first three characters, whereas before we only had R and X. So that's read and executable, read, write, executable. Actually, that's kind of an optional point. You don't have to make all the files read only. And lastly, I want to unmount the CD-ROM mount point. That is sudo umount slash media slash CD-ROM. That was how to extract an M2TS HD video file from a Blu-ray ISO. Thanks for watching. See you later.